We'll ask Coach Pichel to make an opening statement and then go to questions uh, for Corey and my coach. Um, always thank you guys for coming. I love the environment. Rutgers Nation was out tonight. Um, it was a good, good win for us against a good and talented Minnesota team. I thought these guys were locked in from the start. Proud of these two guys. Made big plays all night. Everyone chipped in. Um, you know, great team win, and we get to play another night. So we're excited about that. Questions for the players, please. Raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you right out here on the right. Herbie Delancey, America's Sports Network. This actually is for uh, Mike Williams. I remember you when you played at Bishop Lachlan here in New York. How is it to have a, like a local follow? I mean, Rutgers being now part of the Big Ten Conference, being at, um, like I said, it was a switch. How was it like um, being that this is their first, your first, um, not really your first, but how was it playing here in the Garden and playing in the Big, Big Ten Tournament? Well, you know, it's a great atmosphere. You know, I think the Big Ten, you know, did this on purpose because, you know, it's my senior year. You know, <laughs> I want to close it out here. It's funny. It's ironic to for the close out here um, for my last year here at home. So, you know, um, I got to thank the Big Ten for that. You know, I had a great crowd here. My family was here. You know, it was great for um, the Rutgers faithful to come here to watch us play. And, you know, we got to keep the ball rolling, and hopefully we have a lot more fans tomorrow. Back in the back for the players. Teddy Gutkin, WCBN Sports. Uh, this is for both Mike and Corey. Do you guys see your seating as number 14? It's just a number, and or is this going to act as motivation for you guys going forward? Corey, start with you, please. Um, both. Because our that that 14 play doesn't represent the kind of um, type of team that we are. Um, we play hard every game. You know, some sometimes the results not what we, what we want it to be, but um, you know we're going to fight and play hard against anybody that we got. So you know, the number really doesn't matter. Yes, definitely. Um, the number really doesn't matter in our case. Um, you know, it's March Madness, so you know anything can happen. You know, that's why this is the best league, best time of basketball in the world. You know, um, you know, even the little guys who is number fourteen place, you know, could upset somebody. So you know, playing. Uh, we don't really worry about the number. We just go out there and play hard every day. Right here on the uh, aisle. Either one. <laughs> For either player, um, Minnesota was within two at various points in the final seven minutes. Uh, every time there was a basket, Corey hit, hit, hit a three-pointer. Um, nine of ten uh, free throws in the final minute. Talk about how clutch you guys were in, you know, down the stretch. Mike, will you take that, please? Well, you know, we practice this um, every day. You know, uh, Coach, you know, he, he teaches, he preaches about free throws. You know, um, we spend at least a good portion of practice shooting free throws because, you know, um, it's going to come down to that end, you know. He was able to come down and, you know, um, stay calm and just hit the free throws and, you know, was able to come off with the win. Now we'll go on the aisle. Uh, Aaron Brightman on the banks. Question for both Mike and Corey. What is it about this team two years in a row uh, being able, you know, coming in on the 14th seed and winning the first night and just uh, the mentality that you guys have? Corey, start with you, please. Um, you know, I think sometimes the teams look at the 14 and just think that they're going to come in and it's going to be an easy win for them. Um, but we know this type of team that's going to fight hard, you know, through all the adversity, through all the hard times, we're going to go out there and we're going to fight. And that's what Coach preaches, you know, don't give up. Go out there, play play off for 40 minutes, and, um, <clears throat> you know, 40 minutes gets you 40 minutes, and that's what happened. Definitely, Mike? Um, definitely what Corey said, um, 40 gets you 40. So, you know, that's been our, like, our motto. You know, uh, we came to the tournament, you know, everybody's 0-0, well, except for tonight. Um, we just came in that mentality that, you know, we don't want to go home. You know, I don't want to go home. It's my senior year. You know, I want to keep playing. Right down here in front. Yeah, just to build off that, it's been, I think, 13 years since you guys have won two – or a conference game two years in a row. What, what's that mean in trying to rebuild this program to be able to do that? Cora, I'll let you take that one. Um, you know, it just shows the growth. You know, it's a it's a program that's rebuilding, you know, um, on the brink of rebuilding. It's a, um, something that can be very special, but, you know, it gotta takes, takes the right type of player. You know, we got a good coach in here right, um, now, and um, – you know, just takes the players to come along, you know, just uh, just fight along with, the, with with coach, you know, follow the game plan, you know, see the vision that he sees, and, you know, a lot of things can change around here. Definitely. It's all about buying in, you know. Um, we just got to uh, – we got we believe in what Coach Pico's on vision is, you know. Um, sometimes we're going to take lumps because, you know, like, if he, like we know this is the best conference in the nation. And um, we just got to, you know, keep believing. We got to keep believing in ourselves. And, you know, um, it, it, showed, it showed today. Got time for one, maybe two more for the players if there are any. Way in the back. Um, obviously, this year hasn't been great for you guys. How does it feel to kind of 
got a highlight win tonight. Mike, let you take that one. Uh, you know, it feels good, you know, um, especially uh, we hope our record would be a little bit different this year. But, you know, we just got to take what God gives us. And, you know, um, it's all about God. It's all God's playing. You know, that's one of our favorite songs. Uh -huh. it's, it's just nothing about God's playing. Um, we just got to um, keep rolling with the punches and, you know, hopefully keep hopefully win them all. Mike, Corey, thank you very much. You may return to the yeah. locker room. <clears throat> Good luck tomorrow night. Take questions for Coach Peichel. Right here on the aisle. Marvin Chambers, 4.0 Sports Media. Hey, Coach, right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Today was a big win for you, but not only that, it showed the grit and toughness of your team. What did you learn about your team today? Because it was a, it's a tough season. Yeah, I, you know what? During the build process, there's a lot of tough times you have to go through. Um, we played the hardest schedule in the Big Ten, first and foremost. You guys all love Ken Palm, so he <laughs> said it, not anybody else. And we've got a lot of obstacles that we've gone through. We've had, you know, sickness, some Ill, you know, injuries. Um, these guys have fought, you know, through everything. And real proud today. I mean, we really followed the game plan. We had to do a great job on Mason and Murphy, two of the best players in the league. And we did that. We were tough. We out-rebounded them. That was a key to the game. Um, and I'm real proud. These guys made huge plays. Mike makes that big out-of-bounds play where he gets an and one. Corey made big shots all night. But... Everybody kind of chipped in. Seven rebounds for Issa, Eugene, seven. D gets 11 rebounds. And, um, you know, these guys have fought. It's not been easy, uh, but it's never easy when you're building something, you know, and you got to go through these times to enjoy the, the good times. And it's not easy. It's the best league in the country with the best coaches. And as you saw tonight, some really, really good players too. So um, we're excited about having the opportunity to play again tomorrow and I hope Rutgers Nation is there and, and cheering us on just like they did today. Go in the back. Uh, what do you guys need to do to beat Indiana after they beat you earlier in the season? Wow, here you go. I just, <laughs> just, just won this game five minutes ago. You're already on to the next one. Um, you know, Indiana is really well coached. Again, terrific. Um, we'll sit down, and I've watched a few tapes. Um, they have matchup problems. They, they play tremendously hard. Um, they have, you know, matchup problems for us. Uh, we have a day. We have a lot of time to prepare. Our guys will sleep tonight, and then uh, we'll get ready for a good Indiana team tomorrow. Here on the aisle. Uh, Coach, just wanted to ask how, how satisfying it is for you uh, in terms of seeing Mike Williams, the kind of effort he put forth tonight, uh, how he bought into your program when you came here two years ago, and, and just to see him have this type of effort in front of his hometown. You know, just real excited. You know, put him in the lineup tonight and knew he would respond. I um, mean, I didn't even know if he was going to be back for the season. So he and Eugene had some bad injuries. Um, they both really came back and did a great job. But D, I thought, you know, our seniors all chipped in. Candido gave us some good minutes, too, when he was in there. Um, you know, so real happy. Mike's been a great represent Dean's List student, graduating on time. He's been great. And he's been a four-year guy here. So to get another win in the tournament just so he can keep playing is certainly a great thing. Right down here. Steve, you had played here uh, as a player in the Big East tournament. What was it like to, to coach here in the first place? I mean, I love Madison years? Square Garden. There's no better place. There's no better venue. Uh, I'm really glad people are going to see some unbelievable basketball tomorrow, too. There were great games today, Illinois, Iowa. I mean, that comes down to, you know, some really good and exciting basketball. Um, and everyone will realize how good everyone is in this league from 1 to 14. This isn't a league 1 to 14. You don't want to play anybody. You don't want to play Illinois. You don't want to play Iowa. You don't want to play Minnesota. You know, there's good basketball teams with tremendous tradition and tremendous coaches. So, um, you know, it's great to be here at this venue. I always loved it. I loved it as a player growing up in the Big East. And uh, every time I come here and play, it's just great. Here on the right. So who is better, um, you against Boston College in 1986, or Corey Sanders tonight? Did they play basketball back in that time, Peach Basket? Corey Sanders, by far, was better, by far. And uh, I was proud of him tonight. Uh, well, he showed he's a very good basketball player. And, uh, you know, he made big plays. But I also liked his defense. You chase Nate Mason around all night. It's not, not an easy thing to do. Take a couple more out here on the left. Steve, along, along those lines about Corey, I, I know the next loss will be Mike's final game. It also could be. Corey's. Uh, is there any concern about what, where the program might be without a kid like him, the way he's played? Uh, in you know game? what? Um, Corey's been great. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out, and whatever's best for Corey is, is what it is. Um, 
we got to continue to grow the program no matter who leaves. We're going to put this program in a good place where we have good players in every class. I'm very confident in what I'm doing. I'm very confident in the build that we have. Our athletic director is the best, and we're building practice facilities and everything else that we need to compete in the best league in the country. And I, I feel really good about where we are. I know everyone wants 20, 25 wins. That's not how it works. Um, I'd like that too, but uh, you got to go through these tough times. And uh, we've gone through them, but we've been in every game pretty much. And, and uh, these guys keep fighting, and we're growing the program. Two freshmen today play a lot of minutes. A couple sophomores playing a lot of minutes. A couple juniors. You know, we don't have a huge senior class, and we got a great class coming in. We have two kids sitting out that I think are tremendous. So, um, you know, I feel really good about, you know, where we're heading, and uh, we'll figure out next year and who's going to be on that roster next year later on. Got time for one more if there is one. All right, thanks, Coach. Good luck tomorrow night.